So I'm Stephanie Perrier. I'm a consultant cardiac surgeon at the Royal Children's Hospital. I train in France in Strasbourg in adult and pediatric cardiac surgery. So I think there are several steps that are important. Follow your doctor's advice, stop the medications that uh, need to be stopped, stay fit, um, keep exercising, avoid contact with uh, people who might have cold, uh, and get support from your family and friends, and to get your home organized uh, for after. Clearly understand um, why we need to do the surgery and uh, why we need to do it at this moment of time. I think it's important to build a trust relationship between parents and the uh, treating team. To be honest, I can't say, okay, 100% is going to be all right. I can say, okay, these are the risks, but with our expertise, our experience, I'm quite confident it's going to be all right. It's completely normal to feel anxiety uh, before handing your child over to the team. If you can, just go out. <laughs> go for a walk in the park, go to the movies, uh, try to do something else to keep your mind uh, occupied. I will update them once uh, the procedure is done. And from that, my phone call, they will still have at, at least an hour, usually two hours, before they can actually see the child. So when the patient uh, goes into the operating room, the first person that will take care of, um, of him or her um, is the anesthetist. So he's the doctor who will put the patient to sleep, uh, who will uh, monitor the patient during the whole uh, procedure and give the medications that are needing. So the surgeon usually works with an assistant. We have a scrub nurse uh, who will hand us the uh, instruments during the operation. One of the most important person in the room will be the perfusionist. So most of our um, operation on the heart um, are done with or thanks to a machine that we call the uh, heart-lung machine or cardiopulmonary bypass. It's a machine that will do the job of the heart and the lungs during the surgery and it allows us to work inside the heart. He's gonna um, take care of the machine and he's going to really communicate with us all along uh, so uh, the uh, hemodynamics is maintained during the whole procedure. So the patient will arrive to uh, the hospital early in the morning. Uh, there's a lot of waiting. The anesthetist will uh, come and explain uh, everything and then um, uh, accompany the patient to theater. We can say most of the times it's between three and five hours. Um, at the end of the case, we uh, do a, an, a, an echography, we check everything is fine, we are happy with the result. That's the uh, point of time where usually I give a call to the parents to say how it went and what we can expect from the surgery. After a few hours, it can, the patient can breathe by uh, himself or herself and the patient would stay in the intensive care unit for a couple of days and then go back to the, um, uh, the ward, the normal ward, and stay there also for a few days, depending on, on how it goes. Usually, I would say five to seven days, um, and then go back home. After the procedure, most of our patients will go to the intensive care unit. They will be connected to the ventilator. The monitoring lines and all this equipment can be very um, uh, stressful. If the child is asleep, go and rest. Once the child is in the ward, he's going to need his parents to be, uh, to be there, to be strong, to be uh, reactive. It's too much to stay in the room the whole day and the whole night. Well, they can take a few hours, have a time for themselves to rest. And then when they go back, they are at their best and they can really support their child. The first few days after surgery, um, the children, they need, they need medication for the heart. Pain management is uh, very important. So uh, medication to avoid pain uh, is very important. Um, but most of the time, uh, most of this medication is not needed anymore once at home. 
sometimes a few uh, weeks or a few days, but uh, usually it's yeah not not a lot of pills and not a lot of medication. The recovery period is variable depending on individuals, depending on a procedure, depending on disease itself, and it's usually shorter than what they thought it would be. Usually in the few weeks after the surgery, they are recovered. <laughs> Any question that they have, they might have, is important to be asked. As a surgeon, I really want uh, the parents to understand why we are, I am doing the surgery, why the surgery is needed, how uh, it's going to uh, happen, what, it, what is going to happen during and after the surgery, what will be the important steps of the surgery, why I need to do the surgery now, uh, what are the benefits of the surgery and what are the risks, um, and when uh, we can uh, expect um, the kid to go back home. We want them to understand uh, the disease, to understand the steps of the procedure, to understand the benefits of the procedure and the risks. We also want them to understand um, what will be the expected outcome um, and yeah, the timeline. I think it's very important to be, build a good relationship and have trust within uh, the treating team. If there are any doubts, question, always ask them. There are no stupid questions um, and we are very happy to answer uh, all the questions they may have. So I think reducing the doubts and reducing the, uh, yeah, the question they may have will help uh, patients or, and all families to be more relaxed and uh, go through the process of the whole surgery with a better experience. <laughs>